I look so boring, it's unbelievable. Hello there, today we're going to be talking about the Nimea glosses. Listen, I wasn't sure if I want to review these, but since I have them all and since I've been using them for months now, I feel like it's only fair to share my opinion on these, you know? So let's start off. I have all of them. <laughs> these are the Nimea Spill the Juice lip glosses. There are five shades in total and each of them has like a slightly different formula. So I'm not even sure how many formulas we have here, but... What I do know is that I'm actually quite surprised by them and that's why I want to talk about them. So I have all five shades because I got them in like a bundle when there was Black Friday sale and I couldn't decide which two I want so I just got five of them. If you don't know, Nimea is a brand of the infamous Nikki Tutorials, which is a beauty YouTuber, like an OG beauty YouTuber. We have five shades for 15.99 euros each, which is actually a pretty fair price for a lip gloss. They are vegan and cruelty free. They are made in Italy and they have like a very specific scent to them. I cannot really put my finger on what it is. It's like a pretty strong scent. It's very similar to their other products, but I can't quite like put my finger on it. It's almost like a burnt vanilla or something it's sweet and it's kind of like intense and i don't know what it is <laughs> so yeah the finish of these it's supposed to be very moisturizing nourishing and also long lasting which is very nice i love long lasting glosses now it shouldn't be sticky and it shouldn't be oily so we are looking for the glidey glass like true gloss formula they are supposed to be high shine high elasticity and non-bleeding and honestly from my experience i can confirm all of the above. The formula of this is incredible. They are super, super long wearing, moisturizing. On my lips, they feel almost like a lip balm. I just love wearing them on their own, basically. And they are definitely not sticky, definitely not oily. And you really just need one dip to do your whole mouth. Like, it's perfectly enough. So I want to do two things. I want to show you the glosses on my bare lips, as I usually wear them. My lip color is not too overwhelming. If they're too dried out, they're going to be a bit more red and pigmented. But this is kind of how my usual lip color is. I did this like neutral look just to, you know, so the glosses can fit the look, all of them, which I hope they will be able to do. And let's just start talking about them, okay? So I first want to show you these glosses on just my bare lips. And also I want to show you the glosses in the combinations that Nikki suggested are her favorite in her reveal video of these glosses. Because I just kind of want to see, you know, I haven't really done these combos as well. So I want to try. Let me play a bit, okay? We're gonna start with the shade Don't Tell Anyone. It is like a super pale pearlescent. I wasn't even sure I want to get this one kind of shade, but I feel like it's very unique and she said that it kind of elevates any lip a little bit further. So not only was this one dip, this was one dip from one half of the wand. Yeah, so they go a long way. But this is the shade Don't Tell Anyone. It is described as a high impact pearl silk, which is a very oddly specific and also very fitting. It is super, super pale, but it's not overly pigmented. So it's not really like you have like a pearly white gloss. It is a unique color. I don't have many colors like this and it definitely gives you like a little something. Leaning a bit more cool toned because it is that like very pearlescent and pale color so I would say it is a little bit more into the cool tone but it does have like a really pretty and a very unique finish. Now let me take it off and let me try it in the combo that Nikki likes the most with which is a very beige nude lipstick. I'm not that great at lining my lips. Okay but this is my NYX lip pencil in nude beige which is probably closest to like a truly nude lip on me. So I'm gonna take the gloss and we'll see how they look together. Yeah, it does give it like a nice pop of shine. I think I like that actually. I myself find it pretty hard to, you know, find use cases for this gloss because it's very pale, it's very pearlescent, it's not really anything like I wear on my eyes or on my face that it could match to. So it is a little bit complicated for me, but I think on its own it looked even better because my lips are already kind of this tone, so it wasn't that much of a difference. I think I should start 
you know, wearing this one more because I do really like it now that it's on my lips. But when I'm trying to pair it with someone, I find it pretty difficult, actually. Alrighty, the second shade we have is She Said What? Uh, it is supposed to be Ultimate Shimmery Light Nude, which honestly sounds a little bit better to me than, you know, the silky, pinky, pearly thingy. And this is a... Very similar formula. This is also one that I use a lot because you can kind of see the holes in it. To me, this is kind of like my skin tone gloss. Let me show you. This kind of gives me like my lips, but better and shinier and nicer. It is definitely less pearly. It has more of that beigey nude tone. And for me, this is a very close to my ideal nude lip gloss. If I want one that is very pearly and reflective like this and not super pigmented, but it's again a very specific color, very specific texture and the sheen of it is very different to other glosses that I have. So now this one is supposed to work beautifully with kind of like that 90s lip. So a little bit of a darker outline, nude center and then put this on. So let's see what that looks like. I'm so not used to doing this. <laughs> I used my Pinchacito lip liner in the shade Fake Lips from Crash Cosmetics and also my Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon in Talk the Talk. So they're not super far off, but you can tell I have like a darker outline to the lip. Now let me put on the gloss. That really gave it like a one extra level. I like that a lot. Yeah, so it definitely like elevates this kind of a nude lip because it doesn't really kill down all that contrast with the liner and stuff. It just adds another layer to it, which I think is actually pretty cool. My lips are gonna be so sore after this. Anyway, let's keep going. This one is the Pinky Promise and it's 100% the most used lip gloss out of all of these. This is just the pink, the neutral, the nude gloss that I use with literally everything. And this one doesn't have any shimmer to it. It is something like a jelly formula. It is a very sheer, it just has a little bit of a hint of pink, but it's a very reflective, the like glass-like finish without any shimmer. So this one is definitely my favorite because it doesn't have that icy undertone, which these two have with the pearlescent shift. So this one is a lot easier for me to put with literally anything. Like every pink look I wear, any cool toned, or pink toned lip combo I wear, any ombre thing I wear, it's with this gloss. And I just, yeah, this is definitely my favorite, I would say. Now this one is very easily the best paired with an ombre lip, which Nikki said, I fully agree, this is like my number one use case for it when I use some kind of a pinkish, whatever, ombre lip. So let's see. <laughs> This is the Maybelline Ultimate Lipstick. I really like these. This one is in the shade More Berry. And I wanted to use like a neon horrible shade so I can show you how much better it is with the gloss. So this is kind of like a diffused, you know, rubbed off ombre kind of look base. And I'm gonna put the gloss on top. Do you see that? It's just magic. Like this immediately softens the edges, makes it all like blend and blur together. It's really good. I don't think I have another gloss that does this or I never figured it out, but this really makes the best, best ombre lip combos ever. And you can use this with like browns, with pinks, with reds, with really anything. I don't find it like not fitting a look, even with like a super cool toned brown, gray, even black, the best, the best like blending gloss for this type of a look. All right, next shade is Are You Sitting Down? Which is absolutely stunning, super unique, the most sparkly one of them all for sure. And this one is supposed to be next level sparkly bronze with copper reflects. I'm not usually super drawn to glosses like these, but I really heard it's like super unique and that it should fit everyone which for me and bronze glosses is often like, it's not really like that true because I don't really look great in this type of color, but you know, I had faith. So there we go. And let's just try it on by itself. My lips are still a little bit stained from the previous look, but you can see that there's like no base. This is almost like just clear glitter. That being said, you cannot really feel the glitter in the formula at all, which is super nice. Because with something that is this glittery and like looks this almost chunky, but it's not chunky at all and you cannot feel it, 
very unexpected. It's not like super intense. If you look at my lips now, it definitely doesn't look as intense as in the tube, but there is a lot of sparkle happening. It does look really cute and I'm very happy with it now. Now in the video, Nikki paired this one with like a terracotta lipstick. So I'm gonna go find something with like a reddish undertone because I don't have a lot. So we'll see what I get. This is the closest I can get to terracotta. And I promise you it's a bit darker in person, but my camera just doesn't, no, it doesn't cooperate all that well. But we do have a reddish undertone. So I'm gonna put on the, are you sitting down gloss now? I'm not sure how well you can see this on the video, but the like the sparkle this gave to the lipstick is absolutely beautiful. This is so much better than on its own. This really seems to be popping off on the warmer tones, which is, I mean, she said it, so I, why shouldn't I believe it? But it's nice to see it by herself, you know? Really pretty, really, really, really pretty. And now probably the one I was excited about the most. This is the, you didn't hear it from me. This is rich, creamy, chocolate deliciousness as they described, you know? Now this is a very unique shade of brown. It is almost like a red toned, very dark brown. And I just love glosses like this, like dark, but not actually dark. I don't know how to explain it, but it immediately caught my eye. And again, I have to admit, I don't wear this one super often just because it still kind of scares me, you know? I love these colors, I do, but at the same time, they're a little bit harder to maintain through the day. So let me just show you how it looks just on my lips, okay? It is a pretty red toned brown and we're actually getting to a similar tone we had with the previous lip. But it's not that dark, it definitely can be worn. Just like this actually with the look, I feel like this is pretty cute. But it's supposed to look best when paired with a dark brown lipstick. So we will see how that works. I realized something today, I'm just not that good at lining my lips. Um, This was the NYX Line Out, Line Loud lip pencil in the shade Rebel Kind, it's really cute. So now let's try the lip gloss on and see what it looks like. This looks like brown latex and I'm all here for it. Yeah, my lips are not that well lined, but you know what? I don't even care because this looks great. And those were all of the glosses. I'm kind of happy I'm ending on this one because this looks dope. Now listen, uh, as for the formula, all of them are definitely the same formula when it comes to the texture, not the amount of sparkle, but the texture, they are the same. So they're all the same, comfortable, long wearing, kind of glidey and like a little goes a very long way. And also they last super long time. They're not even that easy to remove. Like if you swatch them, removing them from your hand is a bit of a, it's not the easiest thing to do ever. So that kind of tells you that it's a super long wearing gloss. The formula is truly luxurious, not very similar to many things I have. So I feel like what Nikki did here is something very unique and I love the color scheme. Like there are many different fun, things, you know, just in five glosses. It's not like five pinks or five reds or five boring things. You have so much, you know, you have very pale, you have very dark, you have very sparkly, you have very jelly, you have very sheer, you have very pigmented. It's, you know, it's just so, there's so much variety in a line of just five glosses, which I really appreciate. And I'm very glad I got them all because I do like them all. And I feel like those are some really, really good lip glosses. So if you're not sure what to pick up from the brand, I would say that these are like 100% worth it. Now they're even sold on Beauty Bay, so they're a bit more accessible. So yeah, that is it. Did I just hop in and film the video about how I like five lip glosses? Maybe. So thank you very much for watching, consider subscribing, and if you wanna see more videos where I review products, you can check out the playlist. See ya.